Hello. Okay, real quick. Um, I need to do this because I've had this thing since, well, Saturday. And today is uh, Wednesday. Okay. Um, and I don't want it to die. <laughs> so, in this uh, uh, thing of water, uh, I got this from Cece, okay, from her hydroponic system. She brought this to me, and I'm going to kill it if I don't get it in some dirt. So, I'm going to put it in some dirt, okay? What is it? What is it? You're wondering. Well, it's that ding dang tomato. It's that controversial ding dang purple tomato. You either love it or you hate it. I'm, well, I don't know what to think, okay? I'm curious. At first, I didn't want it. I'm like, mm mm, that's not for me. And then, it's like, well, well, let's try it. But I know some of y'all won't want to trade with me anymore. I get that. I don't save my own seeds anyway, except maybe marigolds, <laughs> zinnias. I don't save tomato seeds or pepper seeds. So I get it, I get it. It's very controversial. Anyway, I'm not putting it in the potage, okay? It's gonna be over here by the house, probably on the front porch where I get a whole lot of sun. But I know, I know. Anyway, we're gonna pot it up, okay? I got me some soil, got me a pot. We're just gonna set it down in here because I'm gonna kill it if I keep it in that tap water. Okay, I'm potting it up right now. This Ding Dang Norfolk Purple GMO Tomato. Now this is not the, well, hmm. technically I guess it's not the Baker Creek Purple Galaxy because they never released that one. They didn't release it, so this is not it then. Okay, anyway, pop this up. Probably need a stick to stake it, it's a little bit big. Water it in fertilize it, stake it, and we're just gonna see what happens. I know some of y'all are not happy about this at all. I know, I get it. Some of y'all are indifferent, and some of y'all are happy. I'm not, I'm confused as to how I feel about this tomato. I am, I'm confused. I'm not scared of it, okay, I'm not scared of it. I don't think it's gonna like contaminate my whole garden. I don't think that at all. I'm just, I don't know, it's weird. It's not natural, is it? No, they spliced a, a tomato with the genes of a purple snapdragon, a flower. You know, it's not like it's Roundup Ready or anything. They spliced a tomato with a flower to get that deep, dark, rich purple color that's full of anthocyanins and it's supposed to be like healthier, you know, more whatever, beta carotenes, I don't know. Um, but, didn't happen naturally, did it? So, we'll see. Anyway, real quick video. I needed to get it, I needed to get it potted up. So, now it is. We'll see how it goes. I know, I know. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. If this is your last time tuning in, I get it. I do. All right. Well, we'll see you in the next video. Real quick. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.